Okay, uh, morning everybody. Thanks, Amanda. Well, good. What a, uh, what a fascinating uh, morning. Uh, I just want to say a few words and just, um, first of all, just say thank you for having me here and giving me the opportunity uh, to, uh, to talk to you just a wee bit. I did want to say, uh, just doff my own cap to the teams from Blackpool and Wisbeach. I, I, I hear a lot of things in business and see a lot of presentations. They are two, two of the most inspiring stories I have ever heard. Uh, and I just wanted to say more power to you. Really, really fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Um, but of course, when you listen to those stories, you immediately realise that the challenges that face society today are very broad and they're very complex. Uh, and of course, as Anthony said, what makes that harder is this uh, emerging and growing gap between the haves and have uh, nots uh, in society. So thinking about how we tackle those cha challenges, I think, often feels very daunting. But we shouldn't lose sight of uh, the fact that that is what we're good at at business. Business is all about problem solving, it seems to me, and we have the skills and the capability uh, to take action. But of course, we need to get uh, more people involved, as Victor said, um, to want to take on that responsibility to act, to take action, to reach out uh, and to solve these problems if we're going to close that, uh, that gap. And that's really why I believe that the mission of this organization, of BITC, is so, uh, is so important and more important today uh, than it's uh, ever been and why I'm so looking forward to playing my role uh, to help uh, Amanda and support the brilliant team uh, here in the great work that, uh, that they're doing. BITC has all, already made, I think, incredible steps in moving uh, uh, moving us on really from corporate philanthropy, if you like, to uh, a greater strategic responsibility as, uh, as His Royal Highness uh, has often uh, talked about. I would imagine there are not many people with something like 9,000 alumni to this organisation, there are not many business leaders uh, who haven't been touched in some way uh, by uh, His Royal Highness's programmes, by BITC's inspiring work. Uh, or I think more importantly, what we heard about, the sort of values that drive this organisation, passion, integrity, focus, collaboration, that were so brilliantly uh, espoused by the case studies that we held uh, today. And of course, what motivates me is they're the, they're the values that I and the people at Sky uh, really share. Uh, that's what we, uh, we get up out of, uh, out of our beds every morning to, uh, to try and bring uh, to our particular world. We're lucky we're a business that's at the heart of so many uh, homes and communities right across Europe, and I think that gives us um, both a unique perspective in terms of what, uh, what's going on in local communities, uh, but it's also why we're so positive and passionate uh, about the role that either our business uh, or other businesses can play in society. Um, for us, that might be about working on sport or grassroots uh, work in the arts or the environment, um, but at its heart, it is that desire to, uh, to, to leave a footprint, if you like, or something better in the past than when we came uh, and, uh, and, and found it. And people often ask to me, why am I in business? And I often say to them, uh, I can tell you why I'm not in business, and it's not about the numbers. It's about using the opportunity to do something that we can feel proud about, where we can feel that we made a difference. Uh, and that's what, motivates, uh, that's what motivates me, and it's why I'm so excited uh, to be working there more closely with BITC. So I wanted to say to you this morning that I'm enormously personally committed, as is everyone at Sky, to get our shoulder to the wheel, uh, to try and help uh, and in partnership and to make a difference. It's a great opportunity for me to work with all of you to get your perspectives and experiences, and hopefully I can share some of mine and the things that I've learned uh, along the way. Uh, I feel enormously privileged to be taking on the role of Chair of BITC. It's a very, very important role, I think, uh, and one I take with a lot, uh, a lot of responsibility. Uh, and I'm very committed uh, to doing my bit, as I say, to help more communities start the journey that uh, we heard about in West Beach in Blackpool and make a difference. So I can't wait to get started in the new year. Thank you for having me uh, and happy Christmas. <laughs>